Ever since I started my treatment for Lyme's disease, I have been totally turned off of meat. And if any of y'all know me, this is a huge problem because 99.9% .9 of my diet consists of meat. Preferably meat that I hunt and fish that I catch. Now today I got this beautiful lobster mushroom and I was just so excited. I didn't even think about it tasting like lobster, which honestly sounds terrible to me right now. But I'm on the mend, so y'all know I gotta go get a fire going and cook up this beautiful mushroom. Hey! You can identify lobster mushrooms by the distinctive orange and reddish color, resembling the shell of a lobster. You can find them in coniferous forests during late summer to early fall. They are low in calories and have B vitamins and minerals such as potassium and magnesium, along with dietary fiber. No. Not only do they look like lobster when you cut them open, but they also taste exactly like lobster. So I'm just gonna cook with some beef tallow today. Usually I cook with bear or deer tallow, but I am fresh out. I'm seasoning my lobster mushrooms with cheddar and beer powder along with all-purpose seasoning. Jeff is my ride or die and I miss him so much right now. Usually we are cooking up something together. I'm gonna save some of these lobster mushrooms for him. I'm gonna dehydrate them. When he gets here this week, we will cook them up over the fire again and maybe you'll feel like eating them. They look so good, I wish I could eat them. So I'm trying to stay away from carbs and sugar. It's just really not good for Lyme's disease. It's not really good for anybody to begin with. So I made this cloud bread with cottage cheese, egg whites, and baking powder. Yum. So I'll let you all know how that turns out. I think Sabbath wants some though. So lobster rolls usually have some mayonnaise. The lobster mushrooms are looking very lobstery and delicious. If you're into that sort of thing, I'm currently not. So let's take these off. I want to want this so bad, but I just cannot bring myself to do it. Jeff, since you're not here, Sabbath, you are one lucky dog. Oh my gosh. You're welcome, Sabbath. Thank y'all for watching and for all of your support. Stay tuned in the next coming weeks. Jeff and I will be up to a bunch of stuff. You just never know. Tomorrow, I hope to start on Jeff and Hannah's elk pack mount. So stay posted for that. And Jeff will be here on Tuesday. So y'all stay posted. Got some cool stuff coming. And I just want to say thank y'all for all of your support.